Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the next year. Today we are going to learn about how to connect to the MySQL with SQLize. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here, this is the API endpoints in the route.js and config, we have a SQLize.js. So make sure these are the settings or you can see about the, these are the credentials for connecting the MySQL. So this is host, username, password, database, dialect, that is MySQL. This is dialect module that we require the MySQL to. Okay. And here, a sync, await SQL as first authenticate that the connection has been successfully established. Okay. And this will create the tables if they don't exist or update the existing one. So sync define models to the database. So it will create the tables into your database. Otherwise, it will show the error that unable to connect to the database. Okay, then export default the SQLize. This is the connection file. After this connection file, you have to create the model that is user. Okay, so here we have created the user model with the username, email, first name and the last name. Okay, so this is the fields in the database. Okay, the table. So here you can see that. If I go to that minor, you can see that the first name and the last name, right? So I will drop this table. Show structure, alter, drop. Okay. <coughs> After this, you can see the last name, first name, everything, the fields in the tables. Okay. This is the model, right? Now, how to call this? So go to the route.ts, export this, import this model model user so here we are going to create that one what wrap username email so let's add the first name and the last name also so here we have the first name first name i think this is the first name right so let's add the first name also okay first name Rishnan Khan and put the last name also over here. Okay, so let's put this one also in the second block also. Okay. After this, this is basically for the creation. So we are first create the users, create the dummy users. Okay. After this, we are going to fetch all the user with the help of the user dot find all then returning the response. If something goes wrong, then it will go to the catch block. Save this. Try to run this over here. Okay. So I think already compiled. If I go and check this one. So let's try to execute the API. Okay, so here we have this one. Let's try to send this. SQLize no table test DB does not exist. That means we haven't restart the server. Okay, because then connection will start. Okay, then let's try to send. Now you can see two records has been inserted with my name and first name and go to the this one database also you can see the users select data and you, here you can see that the data is inserted and data is fetched also okay <clears throat> you can see that with the help of this you can able to connect to the mysql with sqlize any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day